Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to install Windows 10 onto a Mac, and we are running macOS Catalina, uh, which is the latest as of recording this video. Let's go through the steps right now. So we are running macOS Catalina. Uh, this same process is very similar in early versions of macOS. Uh, so it may work in early versions of macOS, but this guide is specifically for Catalina and for a Windows 10 installation. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing Windows 10 to essentially run uh, side by side, um, one or the other on your MacBook Pro. So what you'll do is you'll essentially hold down a key when your computer starts up and you can select to load uh, Windows 10 or Mac OS Catalina. Uh, there are ways to actually have them running at the same time using things such as uh, an application called Parallels, uh, but we're not gonna be going through that in this guide. This is just to install it, uh, you know, instead of Windows, uh, instead of Mac OS, you can run Windows 10 or vice versa, and then you can we can go from there. So the first thing you wanna, you, you need to do is you need to have the ISO. So we have got here inside my ISOs folder, I've got a Windows 10 ISO. This is the Windows 10 build 1903. Uh, you first need to have this Windows 10 ISO to be able to do this installation. Uh, if you have a Windows 10 uh, CD or DVD, you need to have that converted into an ISO. Uh, we won't go, we're not gonna go through the steps on how to do that, so we are assuming that you've already got the Windows 10 ISO. You may have downloaded it off the internet through a volume license. You may have purchased it directly from Microsoft and they've provided you the download link for the ISO, but we're gonna assume that you've already downloaded it and you've got it ready to go. So this particular 1903 edition is 5.37 gig. Now we are going to be using an application that is built in to every single Mac called Bootcamp. Bootcamp essentially lets you do uh, you know, the options of booting into one or the other. And it's a software package that is already installed. You can access this by clicking on the finder icon on the very top right corner and typing in Bootcamp. And you'll see that it's already come up there with Bootcamp Assistance. So we can open that up right there. You can also find this by navigating through your finder applications and utility, it's also located in there. So once you have Bootcamp Assistant, uh, you can have a read of essentially what it does, but essentially it helps you to install Windows uh, on an Intel-based Mac by downloading the necessary support software, creating a partition of your disk, uh, and then starting the Windows installation. So let's go ahead and click on continue. So it's now going to ask me where the ISO is physically located. So I need to go and navigate to that particular path. You'll see that I do have three ISOs in here. These other ones are for different versions of Windows Server, uh, but we need to now point this to my Windows 10 ISO. So let's just go ahead and do that. You click on choose and then navigate to the path through your finder. So we know it's on my desktop, ISOs, and there's Windows 10 and say open. So just ensure that that path is correct and that is pointing to the correct ISO. Now, the next step is figuring out how big do you want the Windows installation to be. Now, uh, you have to be aware that it's going to use the hard drive that's already inside your Mac. Okay, so however size, uh, whatever the size of your hard drive is, you're going to need to allocate a portion of that for Windows, which means essentially you will lose a portion of that from your Mac um, operating system. So if you do want to run them side by side, partition it accordingly. Obviously, uh, build your Windows installation with growth intended. So if you're going to be you know, installing applications and then maybe in six, 12 months, uh, you're gonna have more files in there, you obviously want to build it now uh, rather than later because if you don't allocate the correct size now, it's gonna be very difficult to grow your Windows installation or your partition size later on. So create your partition to the correct size. So you'll see that here, um, I've got, it's a 202 gig hard drive, all right? And I can just grab this and just drag it left or to the right. And you'll see it actually shows me down the bottom once the partition has happened, how much free space will be on my Mac OS and how big my Windows 10 partition will be. Okay, so obviously consider that. The larger the hard drive, the more space you have to play with, okay? So for the purpose of this, we're gonna make this 60 gigs for Windows. 
knowing that my Mac OS is going to have 51 gig free and I think that will be okay. This is going to format this disk at, uh, through this Apple um, file system, APFS, which is the, the protocol that Apple uses for partitioning these drives. And please select the bootcamp partition size. Once a partition is created, it cannot be adjusted. So um, there are ways to do it if you fiddle around with uh, partition tools, um, but I would highly, highly not recommend you do that because you can destroy the partition table uh, and actually you know, wreck things and potentially lose data. So let's just uh, create it now and then you're good to go. So Windows support software will be installed after completing Windows installation. So because this is running, um, you know, obviously your Mac has Mac hardware or, Mac, or hardware that is more specialized for the Mac, we'll say, uh, it will download the necessary drivers um, to be able to have your Windows know the hardware that it's been sitting on. Uh, so that's what that's going to do. Okay, so once you are happy with that, we, we're going to click on install and then the process will continue. So it's now downloading the Windows support software. So it's identified what hardware uh, Windows needs to be sitting on. So it's going off and downloading the necessary software support, etc., from the internet and then it will use that to be able to go and install uh, Windows 10 and all the necessary components, features, drivers, etc., etc. So let's check back. So after this process finishes, it may take a bit of time depending on your internet speed. Uh, Mac OS will then format uh, the drive, um, the partition, and then it'll reboot and we'll be presented with the Windows uh, screen to go and configure and set up Windows 10. So after the software has been downloaded, your drive will partition. Uh, it will then likely ask you for your authentication. So if you put in your password or your fingerprint, and then once that is done, your Mac will automatically restart You'll see the Apple logo followed by the Windows 10 logo or the Windows logo. So from within here, you're really just gonna go and install Windows the same way that you would on any other computer. You're gonna go through the simple guide of selecting the language, the currency, and the keyboard input. So if you're happy with the defaults, you can just click on next. Followed by your product key. Uh, you can put this in later on. So if you don't have it right now, you can just select, I don't have a product key down the bottom, or you can put your product key in right now. You'll then be presented with the option of which operating system to install. So Windows 10 comes in various options or different um, you know, installation types. So select the one that is relevant to you. I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows Pro. You'll see that there's a few other Pro editions here. We're just gonna say the standard Windows 10 Pro, which is 64-bit architecture, and then it gives you there the date of when it was last modified. You then can read the license terms, and if you're happy with that, accept the license terms and click on Next. The installation of Windows will now commence. So now it's gonna start copying all of your Windows files, getting the files ready for your installation, and then installing the features, installing updates, and then finishing up. And once that entire process goes through, you will then be presented with the Windows 10 desktop. So your Mac may restart a few times while that installation is finishing. It's gonna just prepare a few things in the background. And then you're presented with the next screen, which is now really configuring Windows itself. It's gonna ask you the region that you are in. So we're just gonna leave that as the default. Obviously select the country that you are in. Finish some further background configurations. Are you happy with the keyboard layout? We're gonna say yes. Want to add a second keyboard layout? We're not going to say, we're gonna say no. So we're gonna skip that. It will now ask you to connect to a wireless network so that it can go and configure some things in the background. Uh, if you don't have an internet access or an internet connection, you can click on I don't have internet on the bottom left-hand corner. Otherwise, select your network and configure it. I generally recommend that you do connect your um, computer to the network right now so that it can actually go out to the internet and configure what it needs to configure. It will then ask you how you're gonna be using the computer. Is it your personal computer for personal use or is it for a business, for an organization? So select that accordingly. We're gonna leave that as the default which is set up for personal use. Select that and click on next. And then you can sign in with your Microsoft account. So create a uh, account if you don't have one, otherwise throw in your Microsoft uh, email address, phone or Skype that may already be already in, this, in their system and click on next. Alternatively, you can click on offline account in the bottom left hand corner. 
So Windows 10 is now installed, it's logged in automatically, uh, and it's now running as it should be on a MacBook uh, Pro or on your Mac. In the taskbar in the bottom, you've got a application here that should have started up automatically, and it says, welcome to the Boot Camp Installer. Uh, alternatively, if that hasn't shown up, you can go into File Explorer, this PC, and it's just running right on here, okay? Essentially what this bootcamp installer is, this is really uh, comes from those files that were downloaded at the very start when Windows was being uh, configured um, on your Mac first. It was downloading software off the internet. And essentially what this does is this is now going to customize your Windows computer to be able to run better on the Mac, uh, drivers, etc., etc. So now we're gonna install the bootcamp installer. So select on next, accept the license agreement if you accept that and install. It's now gonna do its thing. At the end of this installation, it will ask you to restart your Mac, which you will then do. So once your Mac, or once Windows has restarted, uh, what I can do, what I generally like to do, is I like to go into the Start menu here, and go into Control Panel. Within here, you've now got a new application listed called Boot Camp. I can now select how I want my Mac to start. Do I want it to start on Mac OS? or do I want it to start on bootcamp? So by default, when I now start my Mac, it's gonna be booting on Windows, or I can select Mac OS so that when I now start my Mac, it's gonna boot into Mac OS. And here we are back on the Mac OS. All right, so you'll see that I've got the hard drive now down here. This is my bootcamp hard drive. So this is where Windows 10 lives. And this is my Mac hard drive. So these are the two partitions made up of the one hard drive that is on my computer, which is really, really easy if you need to, you know, you know, um, view the contents of your Windows files. You can actually go straight into here and actually see and copy the files off your Windows partition onto your Mac partition, which is quite nice. So if you want to have the option of selecting one over the other, either booting into Mac or Windows when your computer starts, all you gotta do is hold down the option key when you switch on your computer, or if you even restart it from right here, hold down the option key, you'll be presented with the option to select one or the other. And there you have the option between Windows and Mac. Select the one that you want, and that will load into the Windows or Mac OS operating systems. So back here on our Mac, similarly to on the Windows installation, I can go into System Preferences, select Startup Disk, and you'll see that both of them are listed there, Bootcamp and Macintosh hard drive. I literally just unlock it, put in my password or my fingerprint, and now I can select whether I wanna boot back into Windows and then restart, or I can just close the window and it will remember that safe setting, or leave it as Macintosh hard drive to boot into Mac OS. So there you have it, that is the overview. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to Digital Bike Computing for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.